Hi, my name is Nicholas Grayson, but most people call me Nikki. I'm the social editor plus at the video game and culture and wrestling, and we've got sports now. We do podcasts, but we're at the we're at the media property known as Fanbyte.com. Uh, Fanbyte.com. It's a good website. You should go. Um, Matt was kind enough to ask me to participate in this big project, and uh, after many many weeks of uh, being distracted because of the horrible pandemic that we are currently living in, I am now finally ready to talk about the video game Boktai, The Sun is in Your Hand. Think about this. Imagine a game where you're a, you're a person, and there's stealth mechanics, like in Metal Gear Solid, and there's guns, like in Metal Gear Solid, and there's vampires, like in Metal Gear Solid, um, and there's these big castles or areas that that feel really big and are, are really intelligently designed that require you to use the the tools that are given to you your your abilities your 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 movement abilities your weapons uh, in ways that allow you to basically solve puzzles everywhere you go uh, like a lot like Metal Gear Solid and imagine if it was made uh, by Hideo Kojima like a Metal Gear Solid and also imagine that it's a video game uh, for the Game Boy Advance and it has a sun sensor and you can't play it if you're inside because you need the sun to play it because uh, Boktai the Sun is in your hand is uh, one of my favorite uh, Game Boy Advance games uh, and I think it's like a, it's so emblematic of that era of gaming where they were just trying shit. Um, especially uh, on the Game Boy Advance, there was uh, Drill Dozer, which like had a rumble pack. There was WarioWare Twisted, where like you could twist the, the Game Boy Advance to like do stuff. And uh, obviously, Bok Tai Sun is in your hand had the solar sensor in it, and that allowed you to uh, put the sun in your hand. You basically would go outside, and uh, the solar sensor would pick up how much sun was hitting it, and that would power up your weapons. And if it was at full brightness, the boss fights were easier. Enemies would be weakened, and if it was dark and there wasn't a lot of sun, your weapon would not have that much energy. It would be weaker. Your enemies would be more powerful because you basically were fighting vampires, and you were uh, on a quest to kill the the king vampire. And it's fucking incredible. Like I just love this game. It's like Hideo Kojima kind of doing Metal Gear on a smaller scale, but with such a Metal Gear Solid, don't get me wrong, is playful. It's a playful franchise, and it, it has obviously a lot to say, and Metal Gear Solid 2 was right, and blah, blah, blah. But Box of the Sun is in your hand is about a kid who, like, has a sentient son that, like, hangs out. There's, like, voice acting in this Game Boy Advance game, which is wild. The boss design is really interesting. The way that you have to, like, there's a wolf that you fight that's really cool in, like, a very big snow level. Um, it's just kind of, like, an incredible... It's, it's exactly what you want from a Game Boy Advance game. There's a there's a very diverse color palette. Uh, there's interesting weapons. There was like a collaboration between Boktai, The Sun is in Your Hand, which is a Konami joint, obviously. And then there's also like, there's uh, Mega Man Battle Network stuff in the game. And then also in the Mega Man Battle Network games, there's like, you can get battle chips that allow you to use the gun dull soul. And at the time, I was like, holy shit, this is, like, revolutionary. Like, finally, a video game that knows that another video game exists. And I fucking loved that. I don't know. That's just... That's that's Box High. The Sun is in your hand. It's an incredible game. Everyone should go play it. It's on the Game Boy Advance. Um, if you're trying to figure out how to go about playing it, if you just find... Uh, if you legally source a ROM, so you obviously go to eBay.com and you purchase a, a legal copy of Box High. The Sun is in your hand, and then you go online and you find a ROM that you... to to like have a, a legal backup of your copy of Boktai the Sun is in your hand. Um, just make your way over to any emulator, basically. Like uh, the emulator that is baked into RetroArch has the ability to fake the sun sensor specifically for Boktai the Sun is in your hand. Uh, so you can kind of mess around. You can like crank it all the way so it's maxed out all the time, or you can kind of be more realistic with it and move it as, as the day goes on or whatever. But um, yeah, I, I just remember the first time I bought this game, or my mom bought this game for me when I was in Arizona, like on one of my first road trips with my family, and it was a million freaking degrees. Like I looked at the cartridge because it was weird. Like I got it used at the GameStop, and I got it because it looked so weird. It was like a, it's a bulbous, transparent cartridge. And I was like, this thing looks cool. I had known, I knew nothing about it, didn't know really who Hideo Kojima was at the time. I was, 
I was little, but like I was like, this seems super interesting to me. The, the box art is incredible. So I picked it up and then proceeded to obviously go outside and try to play it. But if you know anything about the Game Boy Advance, you know that the original Game Boy Advance screen was not backlit and was basically impossible to see in the sun. So I had to wait until the sun set so the angle was like just right. Uh, so I didn't have to sit outside in the literally 115 degree weather, uh, but I could sit inside where it was air conditioned, but enough light was coming through the glass doors. It's just kind of like, I, it's just such a, a, a such a formative video gaming memory for me. And that's, that's why I love Boktai, the sun is in your hand so much. That's it. You can find me on Twitter at Godzilla. Thank you so much again to Matt for uh, inviting me on and happy gaming.